blancos y dorados. Bien, ahí buscaba la mano derecha. Speedy. No por nada le dicen una, un buen conteo de, de jabs. Ahí lo miramos. Y efectivo. En múltiples ocasiones por parte de Eric Gómez. ¡Oh! ¡Qué mano derecha por parte de Rashid Yanes! ¡Manda la lona a Eric Gómez! El niño de Honduras está en problemas. ¡Hey, come to me! ¡Come to me! ¿You okay? ¡Qué derechazo, coach! Esos son los golpes que no ves venir. Lo agarró con una derecha muy fuerte. Y está lastimado todavía esa mano derecha una vez más y se acaba la pelea. ¡Qué manera! ¡Qué golpe por parte de Rashid Yanis! Would approve of or DeMarcus Without a doubt. <laughs> Without a doubt. Interesting story about Ellis. He was actually signed by Golden Boy after Oscar De La Hoya dropped by the camp of Connecticut. Speedy as an amateur, because he would come in around, as his trainers were telling me, said this kid Austin getting kids off the streets in those three cities. Rashidi Ellis. What are you doing, Rashidi? Like, I'm ready to go now. Also with the Japan, took on Takahiro. Oh, you know, in 2013, and you mentioned Steve, 2014, he just upped it up. Like, how many fights did he have Ten that year? fights, that's literally me. Well, he's been in camp with Canelo, getting a lot of rounds in there. that. Now, of course, Lopez isn't throwing a whole lot either. No. It's not like he has to worry. Canelo bringing in Ellis. Try to duplicate the speed that Amir Khan has. Happily nicknamed. To Canelo, go to Canelo Khan. Ellis in the white, looking very confident, very calm also. Raised gloves. Body work, digging in. Good. Listen to exactly what Doug Fisher was saying. And Lopez just covering up the veteran. And like, okay. See why they call him Speedy. You can see some of the best of Dougie's mailbag. In the magazine. That's why I like reading your mailbags twice because I always skip something. I read it on Mondays and Fridays. <laughs> then when it's in the magazine, it's like, oh, a little refreshing. Yeah, that guy was out of it. It's kind of like the, the best stuff from the previous month or two. It's also like when you downtown Los Angeles, you can go back and look at that on Ring TV Live. And Beto, he's another kid. Uh, Canelo Alvarez is brought in when they need a yep. speedy look. A kid with a lot of athleticism and hand speed. Yeah, this is a pay-per-view card where you don't just order. I still say, Doug, to this day, the best job is was the top yeah. dog of the kingdom. And um, what Don did was really wise. He had a huge stable, and he just stacked it. But he, he didn't just put name fighters in there with anybody. He, he made them fight each other. So it's Star Spangled Glory. Uh, Brian, one of them. No one could name oh. a card yeah. quite like the king. Nobody yeah. could make it hard for an announcer either. Star Spangled Glory. <laughs> Say but that. you, but you, you, you saw stuff like Felix Trinidad against uh, an undefeated Yuri Boy. Ellis living up to his nickname with his hand speed and reflexes and showing some nice accuracy and some defense as well, landing one-two combinations. Touches Lopez to the body. Lopez is either just in defensive mode or he's throwing. This round brought to you by Yip TV. Body work again, last couple of rounds. His athleticism, he can do a lot. He can do things that are not textbook. He can lead, say an ole or something like that. Ole. Uh, but there, you see the showmanship. And when you wear trunks like that, when you have the, the, the Hector Camacho senior trunks, that means you want to put on it. You want to be flashy in there. Another be a showman is if you can get the stoppage. Final seconds of the fourth round. It's scheduled for eight between Ellis and Lowe. This Saturday on Cinco de Mayo weekend, a few fans have found their way in. You know, you're a diehard if you're showing up at 2.30. You're even more of a diehard if you actually sit in your seat at this time of day. Appreciate it. Those diehard fans and those of you that are watching right now are looking at Rashidi Ellis dominate Marco Antonio Lopez. Ellis in the white. Thank you for joining us on ringtv.com. Keep those tweets coming. Do see him on ring. You need the rain. That's good news. And right now it's raining body shots uh, on Ooh, Lopez. Nice. That's the one thing I do. It's interesting question, though, Steve. How was that matchmaking yeah. for him? Kind of opponents. Not much film that you can find in Rashidi Ellis from 2014. But he has the look. You can hear the Rivera brothers. Power, but I don't know if he's faced the athleticism. I, he just recently knocked out Prentice Brewer a couple of months ago. Uh, weren't nearly as protected. 
you were expected to face tough guys. In fact, they wanted you to have a loss or two before you fought for a title, because if right. you had an unbeaten record, it meant you probably weren't tested enough. Right. Really? That if you don't get your hands moving and start punching, you will not get paid. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't do that these days. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and Rashidi Ellis, is, I don't know if you heard you, Steve. Yeah. He wants his paycheck. Well, no, he's been earning his money. He's been fine. So has Lopez. He's played his role well, too. Recommended reading for anyone is a book from Teddy Brenner, Only the Ring Was Square. I think every boxing fan should read that. Only the Ring Was Square. On it. Right hand from Rashidi Ellis, picking up the pace with those overhand acres of different restaurants, bars, entertainment for you to go and enjoy. Right next to the Monte Carlo. We were at the weigh-in and the fans were going loud. It was fun. Even though a couple sprinkles. Center. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah. Like, no, I got Mexican mom. I think his, his strategy was. Uh... Guys, I'm going to ask for your scorecards <laughs> because it's technically we have to do it. <laughs> That's, let's go. Let's get well, the scores up. You know, the late great Chick Hearn would say you could call this fight. Uh, a great job by our Ring TV live crew all week long. Make sure you go to the Tecate Bowl Punch app, download it, and see their work. Uh, fought everybody. And he could never get quite. What was his name? Maurice Harris. Maurice Harris. Wait, didn't David Riddell get for the Miguel Cotto fight in November? And also for the Muir Con Trunks like that, you gotta be about during that energy in the open. Ellis is supposed to fight here on the fighting at a higher weight. If you're not facing a king, he didn't come back to the ring until 2000 for four years out of boxing. It's again here at the Fantasy Springs, July 30th, and showcase my skills. It's a little bit different though, because you're at a casino. You fought in Vegas at a casino, but this is a different kind of casino, right? Because as soon as you're done, you get, you walk through the crowd. Yeah, like right after you're done, you get to rock to the crowd and take pictures with. But you better win and put on a show. Yeah. You, oh, absolutely. You if you put don't, on they're gonna let you know. Into the arena because it's a small arena, but it's a great venue, so you can hear everything that's going on. Do you hear the announcers? Yeah, I can hear you guys too. So you guys better be talking good to me, July 30th. Well, do something about it then. <laughs> you talk, you do put on a show. We'll put on a show. And right now, Rashidi Ellis, Luis Gustavo Hernandez, Gustavo's the middle name on the back of his trunks. They're not uh, he's not cutting the ring off like Golovkin S style, but he is getting close enough to, to tag Rashidi here and there. But it was Rashidi who's in control of this fight. From a distance, he can punch on the fly, and when he's in close, he eats uh, Hernandez to the punch. Well, I, I think half. Agradecido, Jose, por mirándonos esta noche. Live. And we actually got some questions coming in. Remember, Steve, we're online. Our audience is very young. There's no who shot JR. <laughs> Makers, the kids looking for somewhere to go, keep them off the streets, and that's how Ellis got in there. And Ellis is just looking good. The pro coming out of it in that neighborhood, in that city. Most quickly. He's still being beat to the punch, even when Ellis is in retreat, even when Ellis is moving. But Hernandez, who, who makes use of his head, when they're in close, he will intentionally lean forward. And the Boricua. These guys are standing in range and trading shots. They both traded hooks. Ellis is the busier fighter, though, consistently beating Hernandez to the punch with one-two combinations. Hernandez connects to the body, however. Nice. Looking for more. And tries not to win in this particular sport, they could actually make it very difficult for the opponent. Now here, one Hold Ellis. And as I said at the start of this round, the more Ellis stays in the pocket, stands and tries to trade with Hernandez, the more competitive Hernandez began to get closer. I made note that the third round was killed, but you still got to stick to the game plan, pick your shots, and land effective shots to get them hurt by the wobbleness of their legs and, and the jitteriness of their body. And it looks like Rashidi Ellis now. Yeah, he's fighting himself into shape as the old timers. That's talking from Hernandez now. It's the ropes. He's got some nice combinations. He just walked in to it. In one bout in 2015, such things as the hurricane, actually Mother Nature got in the way of some of his fights for last year. But you know, one thing I do notice about Ellis, especially this round, he's more, he's more stationary. There are. He's not willing to do that right now. Oh. Rashid Ellis getting his legs back underneath him. Good combination flirty in the round from Ellis. We see the hand speed and the quickness. Doesn't really have power. And I feel like Hernandez put on a lot of weight from the way in. Yeah, he ran out of that way in quick. I was like, <laughs> what, what right, right to the buffet. Uh, right there. I don't know if you heard that in Spanish. Hernandez is sitting right next to him. He just yelled at him. You're losing this fight because you're only looking for one punch. Shot to the head. He should be looking to work his way up from the bottom yeah. up to the top. 
Work the body with both hands and then he went to the body with both hands and then switched to the head with the one. Good shot from Ellis. Little flirt is undefeated, 15 and 0. Hernandez, 12 and 1, eighth round. First time in his career that Hernandez has gone to the eighth round. Ellis listening to the instructor as Rene Alvarado. That's what higher caliber, higher grade of opponent. How will he react to constant pressure? Because I get this over as he starts to get to the 10 round stage of his career. Second time the Rashidi Ellis has gone to the eighth round. Right hand from Ellis. Executives who are watching who signed him last year. You only get a certain amount of fights under the promotional banner. You got to produce. He's doing it in front of.